Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. We are back with another Caleb's Critique Corner, and this time we're headed down to Master League. The footage is submitted by JS, the Shadow Hunter. So very excited to see what Pokemon they're using, and my guess is probably a few Shadow Pokemon. So let's see how that goes. Before we get into the battles, a big shout out and thank you to all my patrons who've been supporting my content creation. If you would also like to have early access to my strategies and lineups or see behind the scenes footage of my battles, feel free to sign up in the Patreon link down below. Okay, as always, we're going to try to take a look at the team first before we get too far into the battles. So we see it's a shiny shadow Mewtwo, very nice, a Dialga, and a Zarud. So uh, the Mewtwo is really cool, but you don't see a lot of Zarud footage. I'm very excited to see how that goes. Obviously, in this specific lead matchup, it's going to be very good. Um... Shadow Mewtwo has always been one that's been interesting to me, personally, because... Oh, going straight for the Ice Beam. Wow. Okay. I thought... Uh... Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm no expert on using Shadow Mewtwo in Master League, but I think the vast majority of people are going to shield anything coming from a Mewtwo, especially even when it could just be a potential neutral side strike. Maybe if there's something like a, you know, Melmetal, uh, it might not shield, but I think uh, Togekiss is going to shield. Either way, maybe you get to both Ice Beams anyway, so it doesn't make a big deal. Okay, banking the Ice Beam and then swapping over to the Dialga. Um, this is... So, I think overall, this is an okay play in this current situation. It gets really risky if your opponent pivots out. Because your Zerud really doesn't have an easy way to take out this Togekiss and resist everything you throw at it. And the health range is way too much. But, because they clearly don't have another uh, res response to Dialga... Um, you're in an okay spot. Okay, now they come in Gyarados. Uh, you do get the Iron Head off, but uh, it's a Waterfall Gyarados too. Yeah, I think you have to come in Zerud at this point in time, which is fine because you resist pretty much every move here unless they're running Outrage. They might. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it is Master League. It wouldn't be crazy if they're running Outrage. Um, yeah, so they're running Outrage. Um, yeah, so uh, throws a Power Whip. Uh, the timing for charging... Uh, uh, it was not ideal, but because the chaos move, it actually doesn't matter. It's actually better to throw at improper timing. Uh, okay, so this is going to be a weird one. Yeah, you can't really cycle cut down, so you're forced to throw some energy and have, unfortunately, don't have the side strike ready. And then uh, it looks like they were able to drag and tail down. So I think just looking at that footage real quickly, uh, well, two things. One, you can throw the side strike right off the bat. I think even if you don't land it, you put it in a very manageable range. Um, if you go for that side strike, you'll have your second side strike, uh, or, or you have another side strike probably in the end for the Garchomp. Um, but I probably just go for back-to-back -back side strikes here, or if you can, if you can only get one, two charge moves off, side strike first, the shield, go ice beam second. <laughs> okay, we're gonna let checks go here. Um, again, the team is, you know, the team is very weak to Tokus, especially in the back, especially for that Zarud. Let's say you play it out that way. You take out the Tokus or they go down two shields. You come in Dialga. You will this down. They're pretty much out of shields at this point. You have Dialga for a Waterfall Gyarados and a Garchomp. But more importantly, you have a Zarud that's in kind of the open for quite a bit. All right, you have a lot of play. Um, and then Zarud can potentially clean up both the Gyarados and with the Shield Advantage, the Garchomp. Um, yeah. So let's see how... Uh, the rest of the battles play out. Uh, the current ELO for these battles are around 2000 range, 2020 it looks like. Um, yeah, this is one I probably swap out right away. Yeah, I like this. You have two much more reliable checks to this Kyogre, and then they come in with their own Shadow Mewtwo. Very nice. Um, yeah, I like going straight for the Iron Head. It's so frail you have to shield everything, right? You don't have to even bait the Draco. Uh, no shielding the Psy Strike. Okay. Not too bad. Um, you have to shield one eventually. And yeah, this is a great call because you really want switch advantage. <laughs> this seems actually very weak to Zerud in the lead. Um, oh, and able to get the full Dragon Breath down. That's huge. Uh, good counting on the Shadow Hunter side. Um, I actually did not even... It's hard for me to keep count because it's sped up <laughs> a little bit. But this is actually very good. Um, you have Zerud. Obviously, you have to watch out for the potential Blizzard. But that's way too soon, I think, for a Blizzard. So you're in a good spot. Um, oh, and then here we go. Yeah, and you have the Ice Beam. This is perfect. Yeah, go straight for the Ice Beam. You went CMP. Easy. Yeah, this is uh, this is definitely a wrap. I'm not really sure how they could potentially come away from this one. But really good place overall. No complaints. Good no shields. Good shields as well. Uh, the time you did use a shield. 
Uh, but yeah, that's a clean one. Um, yeah, that seems very weak to Zerud. I mean, I think that's the fun thing about stuff like Zerud, right? They are not very common in the meta, so a lot of teams might be core broken by it. Uh, Kyogre, you know, Groudon, they're all, like, very common, too. Alright, um, yeah, this is a little bit tougher of a matchup. Uh, going straight for the Ice Beam, I don't hate this. I think it's a solid play. does a lot of damage. Swapping to your own Dialga, not a bad idea. And then in comes the Groudon. It's right before they... It gets a precipice blades, I think. Yeah. But we do get a shield out. But they also shield. Okay. Uh, I don't know if he can win this matchup, though, is the thing. Yeah. You get some Dragon Breath damage. Okay. They went Fire Punch. So that's nice. Um, and you get this Iron Head off. Okay. Yeah. So maybe you are able to flip this. Very nice. Okay. Um, oh, and almost getting the Dragon Breath down. Um, yeah. So I think you have to tank a move here or spend a final shield. The question is, do you want to just let the Mewtwo go? I like this play. I think it's good. Oh, they went Draco too. Yeah, I think it's solid. Obviously, if they have a Charm in the back, you just lose. Oh, looks like you're in a good spot. Yeah, very nice. Um, I like that play because the things that are anti-steel are what? Groudon slash anti-fairy. Groudon, Kyogre, um, and maybe like Giratina, Origin, even Alter to a degree, right? So I think that was a really good read to just let that uh, go and then... Um, coming with Zerud. Zerud was almost definitely going to have a good matchup in the back end. Alright. Let's see here. Shadow Mewtwo on Shadow... Wow, this is the most amount of Shadow Mewtwo I've seen in a while. Three Shadow... Or uh, two Shadow Mewtwo opposing Shadow Mewtwo in the same set. Um, tries to catch a move. Unfortunately, not able to. And does get hit by the flames. Are a little uncomfortable. Um, I guess in all likelihood, they have a dark type count in the back. So it's fine not to shield that. Um, yeah, I think it's, um, I'd probably go Dialga, mainly because you swap to your Zeru to try to catch some energy, right? But I think the Dialga is a little better because Zeru's a more reliable check to Mewtwo than Dialga. But also on top of that, you kind of have to waste your Dialga against a Garchomp here, right? So now you're kind of stuck with your Mewtwo. Yes, you have an energy lead. But you potentially get permanently debuffed here. Okay, looks like you can get the move off before the Sand Tomb, which is nice. Because you can throw back-to-back. -back. Oh, I would definitely... Yes, huge, right? Yeah, definitely throw the back-to-back because -back they weren't going with CMP. Now you're in actually a very commanding position. Two shields up. I mean, they need something of fashion pressure to deal with this Mewtwo. Otherwise, it's just over. It looks like it might be over. Yeah, you just shield everything. Go straight Ice Beam. I mean, they might be able to catch an Ice Beam on like a Kyogre or something. I don't know, but... Looks like they're not going to get to it. Um, you do throw the... Oh, okay. This is going to be kind of close. Yeah, I don't think this is enough to one-shot, unfortunately. The fast and pressure is, unfortunately, going to add up. Uh, yeah, you have to shield. If I was the opponent, I'd probably just throw... Like, go straight fast moves. But yeah, that's a little bit tough. Um, so, I think in this situation, again, I think if you go Dialga, it puts you in a little better spot. Yeah, you have to take a Flamethrower. Flamethrower's not going to be nearly as bad. It's just neutral, right? And then you draw out their... Probably Garchomp or... Or their Giratina. But I think just Zerud has a ton of play, right? Zerud's going to be so much better in the back end. Regardless. Um, so yeah, I mean, their team was very weak to Zerud, actually. I mean, they got a Mewtwo and a Giratina in the back. And even Groudon... Or Garchomp is not that great into it. Yeah, so I, I like the play to try to catch the move. But I think you... In most situations, right, if your safe swaps Dialga, most times when you're trying to catch a move, should also be Dialga. That's not always the situation, right? Don't always, uh, that's that's something I wouldn't prescribe for every situation. But I think general rule of thumb is that typically is how you want to play it out. Because it's your safe swap for a reason, which means that um, if you don't get the catch, it ends up being your safe swap anyway. And if you're throwing a less flexible safe swap like a Zerud, uh, it could be a problem. All right. Um, you get the shield from the Lugia. I like this play a lot. Oh, okay. Maybe triple flyer, maybe. Get the Draco off. This is huge. Oh, and they spend both shields already. That's massive. Yeah, you just no shield this. Yeah. And they just shield uh, everything else. Yeah, you're in a good spot. Um, I like this. Just farm with a little extra energy. Probably throw two side strikes or psycho cuts. Okay, throw four. That's fine. Um, get a little extra energy. Have something for the Lugia. Nice. Good charge room timing as well. Um, pretty optimized. Oh my gosh, one shots. Wait, what? A Verizion? Wait, honestly, that Verizion would have been in a really good spot. I mean, I think you still can't take out the Mewtwo. But this is the, exactly the... 
dude this is i mean this is obviously not a misplay by the shadow hunter but yo some people just be quitting too early in my opinion this is the one matchup you want to see you resist everything from Zarud here why would you not stay in yes you're down a shield but the mutus out of energy you come out with like two back-to-back -back, like leaf blades you're fine i don't know i mean i think there's some play i, I think it's still not the easiest matchup but man I'm just saying, it's just my own little soapbox here, but people would be quitting way too early sometimes for whatever reason. All right, anyway, um, this is a very rough lead. Uh, honestly, the whole team is kind of going to struggle against this. Uh, Zerud maybe is probably the best one, but uh, again, it's really hard to get there. All right, I like this though, build up a lot of energy. Oh, wow, they don't even shield. That's crazy. Um, they don't shield. I think, is Ice Beam better? I think um, Side Strike is double resisted, right? I actually don't know. Um, might be something worth looking into. I mean, it is a very solid move, but I think, I mean, I guess, yeah, you leave with a bunch of energy, but this is so tough because they're just going to hit you with an earthquake and almost one shot you, right? Yeah, almost one shot you. All right. So, oh, okay. So right here, something I noticed, you still have about like 10 seconds on your switch timer. You want to wait that out, right? Because they don't have a switch timer, so they're going to lock you in with whatever, right? Let's, I mean, they probably stay in Metagross. But there's a chance they could lock you in with like Evolto or, you know, their own Zerud or something, right? Dialga even. Um, so you want to wait out the timer as much as possible, especially when it's misaligned and you're the one without Switch Advantage. Um, my guess is they probably stay in though, but um, have the back-to-back side strikes. Okay, not enough. Oh my gosh, this thing is doing work. All right, let's see what they have in the back. Ugh, especially Dragon Tail is kind of tough. Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're clearly not great into Zerud. It's probably might be like Kyogre, maybe. Um, yeah, charge room timing wasn't ideal for that one. I think he threw on three. You want to throw on one, four, and seven. That was good, though. That was very good. Oh, we did get a shield, too. This is a Kyogre in the back. Yeah, it is. I don't know if this is going to be enough, unfortunately. Yeah, not enough. Um, Metagross in general, I think it's just a really tough, uh, team composition. So, um, yeah, that's, that's a really tough one in general. Um, I don't know if anyone could really win against that team comp unless, like, the opponent just plays really poorly. All right, not too bad, though. 3-2 in the first set. Um, that last one, yeah, again, I don't think there's too much to go. Sogaleo, what the heck? All right. Um, yeah, let's see how this goes. All right, charge up a bunch of entry. That's not throw, though. So they probably know you don't have Focus Blast or Shadow Ball. Um, they go straight for the flamethrower. Just sack the Dialga. Okay. I don't hate this. So I think, again, you want to wait out the Switch Timer. It looks like this time around, Shadow Hunter is going to wait it out, which I think is a good idea. Um, you can optimize there. You can throw one side, sh side Strike. Or, sorry, um, Side Shock. But yeah, <laughs> dude. I mean, we're just talking about Metagross. This is the same typing as Metagross. This is still a really tough matchup. But it is Fire Spin. Um, so you want. Yeah, they go Iron Hand. That's fine. Uh, okay really risky farm down but able to get it off all right so again uh two turn to three turn you want to try to optimize one four and seven right two three f okay throw one vine whip and then throw if you can survive this yeah okay that's okay um maybe you're scared of the cmp which is not a big deal um i think that's yeah it's a little tricky though um yeah, let's see how this plays out. Looks like it was CMP. Uh man, Shadow Mewtwo just it hits hard, but you just can't sustain much damage. You need like um <laughs> like a Shadow Machoke Machamp in the back. Oh yeah, this is tough. Um yeah, I'll I'll drop my um optimized charge move timing video as well. I'm not really sure if Shadow Hunter knows or not already. It might just be depending on the situation, might not be timing certain things on purpose. But I'm going to drop it down for anyone that's curious about that, too. Uh, it's something that's pretty common uh, that not everyone's familiar with, but it definitely makes a huge difference in gameplay once you um, start optimizing uh, consistently. All right. Yeah, this is uh, going to be an interesting one. Oh, okay. Catching a rock side is huge. The problem is this is the ideal matchup for Metagross. So my guess is they stay in at least for a little bit. The problem is they can swap out, right? So they get superpower and dip. They might go, yeah, they go superpower right away. Makes sense. Second superpower, you let go. Yep, I like this play. Um, taking out Metamoto is definitely a collective effort for sure. Going for the Iron Head. Um, 
I don't hate this play, but I feel like, yeah, okay, Lugia does shield, but you don't get another move off, right? So, um, that's what I was going to say. I, I don't know if it's going to make a huge difference, um, but you have energy. Yeah, uh, that was actually pretty optimized. You just stole uh, Psycho Cut. You already maxed out energy, but still, you get the extra damage at least. All right, um, definitely need to take out this Lugia somehow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maximizing the, the energy. I like it. Oh, and on CMP. That's actually pretty big. Forcing the Lugia to waste the energy. I mean, taking out this Lugia is still kind of an issue. He gets a move. Okay, nice. Yeah, most things go with CMP over Lugia as well. Um, going to take it out. The Metal Metal is still in the back, though. It's kind of a little tough. Yes, yeah, steals are particularly tough for this team. Um, I think potentially you can also run Flamethrower as a, on the Mewtwo to be a slightly better. Oh, and they catch on the Kyogre. Oh, that's tough. Um, yeah, I think you need like a more anti-steal counter, right? I, I like the Shadow Mewtwo. I think it's cool, a cool pick. Um, but a few things, me personally, I think the regular Mewtwo might be a little better in Master League overall. It probably performs a little more consistently because Mewtwo already hits really hard. So you just want the bulk a little bit more, right? Um, but again, I haven't played Shadow Mewtwo myself, so maybe it's not as bad. And there's definitely some matchups I'm sure you pick up with the Shadow variant, whereas the non shadow can't. I think something like you could go like straight like double side strike or something, take out the Algor or something. There's some matchup that um, was definitely pretty key. All right, another Shadow Mewtwo. So we've seen four. So far, including the one on this team. Um, try to catch a move. Unfortunately, did not get caught. Uh, I think I remember seeing a similar play in a previous uh, game, which is fine. Oh, they actually bait Fire Punch, really. All right. Um, yeah, I like the counter bait here. Uh, and we get the shields. It's fine. You have the energy on the Mewtwo. I think you... Yeah. Okay, they take you out. I. Okay, this is a play, too. You don't want to get hit too hard. And coming with energy here is not too bad. Yeah, the fire punch is not that deadly. So, oh, okay. Catching the fire punch. All right, making quite a few catches. I do like it. So definitely, it um, looks like Shadowhunter knows their counts. Force of shield, unfortunately. But I have a lot of energy. Um, Man, it was a side strike, though. Uh, yeah, so they're going to shield. Um, but it was CMP, at least. Oh, and they went Shadow Ball. Okay. Yeah, this is good though. Maximal energy. I mean, yeah, you resist everything, but Shadow Ball and Side Strike still kind of hurt <laughs> from a Mewtwo. Oh, yeah. Dragonite is going to be a little tough. Let's see if he could get to the second Dark Pulse in time. I think this is a Dragon Claw, but I don't know if he can. Oh, wait. Hold up. Oh, they try to catch a move. Oh, no, it's just not enough. Yeah, the Vibe damage is not enough, unfortunately. Alright, um, let's see how this goes. Yeah, I think the catch attempts have been solid. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like any Mewtwo's are throwing the move. Let's see, maybe another catch attempt here. Yeah, I think it's charging up to the Shadow Ball, right? Okay, there we go. We get it. We get it. Nice catch. Ends up being side strike. No problem. Um, and then here comes the Melmetal. Shield once and then throw the Draco. Oh, they went rock side. Savage. Um, so the bait from Shadowhunter side is probably not that great. Yeah, so here's why. The Melmoto's not debuffed, so they can afford not to shield, right? I think you go for the Draco here because you go for the you could potentially go for the Iron Head if they went through power already, but because they went rock side, it's almost like a hundred percent likely they don't shield, right? Um, so yeah, this puts you in a slightly difficult spot, but you got the Melmoto out of the way. You caught some of the energy on the Mewtwo and their debuff. So I like this. Stay in, farm a little extra energy, then throw, right? Because you could tank the Rock Side. And the Mewtwo's already going to almost one-shot you anyway. If they have Shadow Ball. Oh, okay. Nice. Love to see this. Yeah, so a team that's core broken by Zerud. Um, very nice. Once you get the Melmet out of the way, this is exactly where Zerud wants to thrive. It looks like the opponent just probably gave up at this point. <laughs> Shadow Hunter being nice and trying to let them come back into it, but... I think there's no there's no winning in this situation anyway. Um, I think the opponent just probably like rage closed out the app or something. Um, but yeah, this is where Zerud definitely thrives. Um, and it looks like this Mewtwo is also stalling, but yeah. Um, I think Zerud overall is a very cool Pokemon. Um, definitely a core breaker in many respects, right? Giratina, Mewtwo, super common, Kyogre, Groudon. 
The problem is it's also like very hard countered by stuff like Togekiss and some of the steel types. Um, but yeah, so overall, uh, solid battles from the Shadow Hunter. Um, a few things to point out. Uh, first is probably this is probably not the top priority one, but just one that came to mind. Um, optimized charge from timing. Again, I will link that video down below uh, for those that are interested in trying to doing that consistently the second is it looks like going for, uh does try to go for quite a few catches sometimes it pays off but it seems like a lot of times it doesn't i don't know this might be more so the structure of the team itself it's just very very weak to steel right um there's a lot of matchups where it just like really struggled with steel type and i think you maybe just put on flamethrower on the mewtwo or maybe swap out the Mewtwo for something else. I do like Dialga and Zerud in the back because I think they both share a lot of the same weaknesses. So having that ABB set up to draw out their Steel, draw their Fairy with the Dialga sets your Zerud up really well. Um, I wonder if just maybe swapping the Mewtwo out for something else. Cause I think overall the gameplay was solid. Um, I just think there were, a there were a lot of situations where I was like, whoa, this is like a really tough team comp, right? And you know, it could have been just like an unlucky two sets, but I think part of it was also just the meta is more geared towards steel types right and so being kind of like triple weak to steel is a little a little tough i think the shadow hunter did a great job of trying to make a lot of those bad matchups look good uh, or look better f for them by catching moves and stuff and swapping back and forth but yeah it might be more or less a situation where maybe you tweak the team a little bit um nothing wrong with shadow mewtwo itself i think maybe with this back line it might be a little harder to play uh, but yeah, those are the two main things overall. Um, I think it was fun uh, to definitely see some of these battles. And again, I'm not a Master League expert, but I think uh, some of these team compositions are really cool to see. And yeah, shout out to JS the Shadow Hunter for sharing the battles. And if you would like to sh showcase your battles here on the channel for Caleb's Critique Corner, feel free to shoot me a DM on Twitter at Caleb Peng, and I will check out the footage and hopefully post a video about it like i said i have a lot in the queue so be ready for more if you like this kind of content and hopefully it's helpful and if i miss any feedback or you want to correct me on anything just drop the comment down below but anyway thank you all for watching if you like this video feel free to give it a like and share subscribe for future content hit that notification bell to get alerted right when i post a new video and i'll catch you all next time